Welcome back to Vintage Air TV. I'm Nate here at the R&D Garage in Texas, South Texas. We know a thing or two about the heat down here. That's why we're excited to introduce our new Monster Brushless Fan. This one here is an 850 watt fan. Uh, we're gonna be showing you a few things, the benefits and the features of the fan, the items included in the kit, some items you may need additional, and then we're gonna be doing an install on our 77 F-150 back here. So let's get started. Okay, so going over the items included with the fan, of course our brushless monster fan here, this one is an 850 watt unit. Um, it also has the brackets needed for installation. Um, this is our six gauge fan harness. So this goes directly to the fan. And then here's our two different length uh, power cables, also six gauge, just depending on where you're gonna wire it to. Um, and then it also will have our crimp and heat shrink uh, for the electrical connections and the mounting hardware for the fan itself. Now, these fans primarily operate off of a controller unit like this one. Um, you may not need that if you have something like a Holley Dominator and there's a few OEM ECUs that will operate this fan, but generally speaking, you're gonna select uh, one of these. We recommend you contact our sales uh, or tech team to pair up the correct controller with your application. Um, there's also a fuse kit included and then the wiring harness for the controller itself. Um, also, if you're running a kit like this with our SureFit kits, um, you'll need to replace your binary switch with the trinary switch and that just activates the fan based off of AC pressures. If you don't have AC, you may not have to worry about that. Okay, so we're gonna get started with our installation of our 850 watt brushless monster fan on our 77 F-150. We went ahead and took our fan and we installed the hardware here just on the top with our retainer washers just to make it easier for us to hang it and get it started for us. Okay, so we finished installing our fan in the truck. Now we're gonna get started on the wiring. Quick note, on the wiring with the amount of power that these fans draw, it's absolutely critical that you have really good electrical connections. So in the instructions, we have recommendations for the crimping tools. Um, and of course it includes the crimps and the heat shrinking materials. Um, it's just really crucial that you get a good crimp and a good mechanical connection. Um, that way you get the most use out of your fan and it doesn't have any weaknesses in the electrical components. So we're gonna go ahead, we'll install these in the engine bay and then we'll show you a finished product of what we've got here. Okay, so we've got our kit installed and wired in our 77 F-150. I'm gonna be showing you here on the table how all the wiring is actually run according to the diagram. You can follow along with the wiring diagram and your instructions. And then we'll also be showing you how everything is run and routed inside the engine bay. So getting started, we installed our controller unit into the intake manifold. We put this before the thermostat. The thermostat is gonna be, or the controller is gonna be paired with your thermostat. Uh, we ran a 195. Uh, this is gonna have four wires coming off of the controller harness. There's gonna be a red, a blue, and a white, and a black. The Red and the blue are gonna to run to our blue wires on our trinary switch. We ran this trinary switch, which works in conjunction with our vintage air AC unit. So the red and blue run to the blue wires on our trinary switch. Coupled in with the red wire coming from the controller harness, there's gonna be a red keyed on wire that we're running inside the truck to the fuse panel. So that's gonna be jumped off of the fuse panel it also has an inline fuse that runs with it uh, just for safety. The white wire coming from the controller harness is gonna run over and that's going to be spliced in with our white wire coming from the fan harness. The black wire from the controller harness just goes straight to ground that we ran to the battery. On the fan wiring harness, that's gonna have that white wire we already took care of and then a red and a black. The red wire gets uh, crimped in with our connector that goes into our 100 amp MIDI fuse, and that runs directly. Uh, we use the short 
red wire that comes with the kit. There's also a longer one if you want to run it to the starter. Uh, we'll run that straight to the battery. And then the black wire gets a connector crimped on it as well. And that runs to the negative terminal on the battery. So that's the entire wiring here on the table. And we can also show you how it's run and routed inside the engine bay. Okay, so here we are in the engine bay. We're gonna be showing you how we installed and routed everything here. So firstly, we're gonna show you where we installed our controller here. And that's just behind the thermostat and the intake manifold. Once again, this is a 195. We ran the wires for this along our AC lines and towards our trinary switch here. The fan harness is uh, just connected on the bottom of the fan and that's run along the shroud there. And then those wires also come up towards our trinary here. We ran the power back behind the battery on this one. You can see where we've got our inline breaker down here. We've got the ground for the fan and the control harness hooked up to our negative side of the battery here. And then the positive for both of them run here as well. And we've got the keyed on red wire running here along with the rest of our wires for the SureFit kit that's run inside the truck towards the fuse panel. So as you can see, it's pretty straightforward. We were able to get everything routed pretty cleanly so there's no real exposed wires. And that's our install. All right guys, that concludes our introduction to our Monster brushless fan line as well as our installation on our 77 F-150. Be sure to check out vintageair.com for our other options and availability. If you have any questions, feel free to contact our sales or our tech team. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Y'all stay cool now, you hear?